Hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to restore your iPhone 4 um, with Semi Restore. So a lot of people don't really do this, but I'm going to do it. It's a new video. I'm going to try it. So they did, did update Semi Restore to work with iOS 7.1.1, iOS 7.1.2, and iOS 7 in general. So what you have to do, some people get Semi bricked. What you have to do, you have to install something called Open SSH. Um, in Syria and then come back to my video you can pause it right now and go and in, uh, install it on your device and come back here so once you've installed it you plug in your device you go to my website which is actually um, xoriginaltech.webs.com and then you go to my download page and you go to the helpful software and install semi restore so once you've installed it all you have to do is um, if your device won't allow it, all you have to do is go into a safe mode, which is actually basically holding the power and home button and power button until it turns off, and then hold the power button for three seconds and keep holding the home, ho no, hold the power button and the home button for ten seconds, and then hold the home button, which will put you into DFU mode. So if you want to go into a safe mode, you have to hold the power button for three seconds and then hold the plus button, which is the volume up button and hold it for until your device turns on and then you just slide to unlock and you go to semi restore and you click semi restore and it will take you through this process um, as soon as you click where semi restore it will say connect into device and then your device will actually automatically um, respring and then it will start to restore it so as you can see here I kind of started the restore before the video because I didn't want to um, want the video to be too long so yeah I might do semi restore here and I might show you guys jailbreak update via 6 so we'll see how this goes so I'm just gonna pause it unless you can in fact I'm just gonna let it run all the way through because it doesn't look like it's gonna take too long um, on your device right now as it says cleaning up you should see the loading bar the iOS 7 um, loading bar like when you're restoring your device normally once you restore guys you will keep Cydia the only thing that will change is all of your apps will be gone, everything will be gone, but you still will keep Cydia. And remember, you have to have Find My iPhone off for this to work. So I'm just going to leave it here um, to do this. In fact, it stopped here, so I'm just going to pause it and play it when it's gone a bit further. So, hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and now that the loading bar has gone all the way across, you will see on your device it will go back to the kind of like dark <laughs> Apple logo and it will still carry on saying cleaning up device it's kind of like your device is booting up what you have to do from here is leave it it will still take you back to the old Apple logo and um, I'm gonna pause it and play it when it's booted up and when cleaning up device has gone away remember do not touch it yet even though your device is booted up mine's booted up now it will come to the old, um, not the old, the iOS 7 unlock screen, if you know what I mean by um, unlock screen by the old iOS, like you just restored your device. Um, that's what it will come up with. It will say hello, and it will start saying hello in different languages. That's what you will see. Please do not touch your device yet, even though you think it's restored. It still says cleaning up, and it's still cleaning up some software. So do not touch your device. If your device's brightness goes low, just tap the home button again for it to get it to work. So I'm just going to pause the video here and play it when cleaning up has kind of gone across. And I'll explain to you what happens after cleaning up is finished. So hey guys, it's X Original Tech. Once um, it's gone away, you will see this thing come up here, which is actually from Coolstar actually telling you you can donate. So I would recommend all you guys will have to do is click donate. It will take you to a uh, Safari web page. Not Safari, this is an Apple. It will take you to um, your default browser. And all you have to do is click X. And it will say here on Semi Restore, Semi Restore Complete. And remember guys, you do not touch your device during a Semi Restore. Once it says Semi Restore Complete, your device will reboot and you are pretty much done. Um, if you look at your device now, it will be re like booting up. And that's pretty much your device finished. So since we finished that, I'm gonna do jailbreak update via six now. So what jail, what's new in the jailbreak community is that Pangu has been updated to support um, um, 
sorry, to support devices like certain devices. So it's been updated to 1.2.1, .1, and here is the change log. If we go here, it says fix the boot loop bug for some iPhone 4 slash 4s. Fix sand sandbox log mm -hmm. issue. AFC 2. If you guys do not want, know what that is, it allows you to um, um, USB into your device and automatically be into the device. And it added patch for task for PID and add notification if jailbreak fails. It, obviously, I don't really have to explain that to you, but it just like if the jailbreak fails on your device, it will say jailbreak has failed. So I'm just gonna open it up, and I think that will complete jailbreak update v6. Not a lot has been changed um, in jailbreak update, so I can't really do too much. So as you can see here, I did have iTunes open, but I did not use iTunes. Um, for so as you can see here nothing has changed on the jailbreak here um, it will say tap the trust button on your device obviously because I just restored my device it will tell me to go through the setup and click trust and once I click trust um, it should tell me your jailbreak has you're already jailbroken because I just did semi restore so this is X original tech please like subscribe and comment and don't forget to follow me on Twitter and share this video peace